Shambhavi and I, Manasvi, are here to celebrate the auspicious day of Dasara. So now let's start with the Shankhnar. <laughs> मा दुर्गा के नौ नाम प्रथम शैल पुत्री चीय ब्रह्मचारिणी तृतीय चंद्र घंटे कुष्मांडेती चतुर्थक पंचम स्कंदमाती षम कायनी सप्तम कालरात्री महागौरी चाष्टम नवम सिद्धिदात्री चव दुर्गा प्रकीर्ति Thank you, Dakshesh. We all should know the significance of today. So now I request Manasvi to say it. Dashera, also called Dasra or Vijaya Dashmi in Hinduism, is a holiday marking the triumph of Rama, an avatar of Vishnu over the ten-headed demon king Ravana, who abducted Rama's wife Sita. The festival name is derived. from the sanskrit words dasha meaning 10 and dhara meaning defeat symbolizing the victory of good over evil dasera is celebrated on the 10th day of the month of ashwina the 7th month of the hindu calendar hindu calendar with the appearance of full moon an event called the bright fortnight or shukla paksha dasera coincides with the culmination of the 9 day navratri festival and with the 10th day of durga puja festival for many it marks the beginning of preparation of diwali which occurs 20 day after dashera dashera is celebrated with great fervor and fanfare you all know that the 9 days of navratri symbolizes nine goddesses Shaila Putri represents Parvati in her state of childhood. Shail defines a mountain and she is the daughter of the mountain king Lord Hemavan and Queen Menavati. She is that avatar of a little daughter who makes her family, her parents happy, joyous and filled with pride. Brahmacharyni represents Parvati in her phase of self-denial. This form of hers was awakened within her in which she had broken the rules of living life as an ordin- ordinary human. She is a student and a disciple who makes it her mission to attain the goals of life through the harsh period of her education. Chandraganta represents Parvati in her married aspect. She is also that aspect of the woman who is independent and fights to establish justice. peace and makes her voice heard to bring about positive changes kushmanda represents devi parvati in her stage of discovering that she is none other than mahashakti she is the aspect of a woman who brightens up the lives of those around her by her glee skanda mata represents devi parvati in her stage of motherhood Skanda Mata is maternity, affection, and love in a woman. Though any child might be biological, adopted, or through surrogacy, she still is a mother. Pratyayani represents Parvati in her warrior stage. She is the avatar of a woman who shows that she is not vulnerable when the question of protecting her is brought up. Kalaratri represents Parvati in her phase of destruction. She is called the goddess of time and death because she is above and beyond its reach as she controls the time in which someone's death arrives and she is beyond darkness. She is also that aspect of a woman who is constantly enraged by injustices and fights them to save the society as she is aggressive and can bring about destruction when her threshold is crossed mahagauri represents parvati in her phase of recovery this form of parvati was known to the world by the name of mahagauri she is also that avatar of a woman 
who is a homemaker, devoted wife, and, and a nurturing mother, as she is the only one who is the foundation of a family. Siddhi Datri represents Devi Parvati in her stage of reaching her highest and supreme form, knowing who is she, as she has been established as the complete manifestation of Goddess Mahashakti, thus reaching her status of becoming a goddess. She is that avatar of a woman that represents the very source of life and provides education, teaching skills and discipline to her kids. We all know that India is a diverse country, which is why all of us have different festivals and also different ways of celebrating these festivals. Similarly, Dashera also has different ways in which it is celebrated. So now, let's take a look how it is celebrated all over India. In many places all across North India, all through these nine days, the Ram Leela or the story of Ram, Sita, Lakshman and Ravan is enacted. In Varanasi, this Ram Leela is enacted by artists for a whole month preceding the Sera. In Himachal Pradesh is another place of interest when it comes to the Sera celebration. In the Kulu region, the Sera is celebrated with a large fair and parade where at least a half a million people gather. This festival makes victory of good over evil. Vijay Dashmi or Dashera is celebrated in a variety of ways in South India. The celebration ranges from praying the Devi Durga to lightening up temples and the Mysore fort. The celebration is used to host athletic competitions like dancing, singing, fireworks, etc. Goddess Saraswati is another highlight of Dashera celebration in South India. She is the goddess of learning, music, knowledge and arts. Goddess Saraswati is worshipped along with the instruments of one's trade during this festival. Many kids are newly admitted to this school on this day. Thank you. The Shera is pronounced as Bijoyo Doshmi here in West Bengal. This is the biggest festival in West Bengal. All through the Navratri, people go out of their house for pandal hopping and gorge on wonderful, wonderful food, especially non-veg when the rest of India restricts their diet. On the Shera, the god idols are immersed in water and is marked by a great procession. The married women play Sindur Khela where they greet each other with a touch of vermilion. This, uh, this is a mark of good luck and a long married life. The ritual happens after greeting the Devi Durga idol with sweets and Sindur. After the immersion process, the younger people touch, their, the, touch the feet of their elders and the elders give them sweets and gifts as a mark of their love and blessings. In Maharashtra, the idols of gods and goddesses that are installed on the first day of Navratri are immersed in water bodies on the Dashara or 10th day. The devotees visit their friends and relatives and exchange sweets. In the culture of Gujarat, both Lord Rama and Goddess Durga are celebrated for their violent attitude. People fast and have a prayer at the temple and these are common practices during the Shara. Dandiyarash, the local dance, is seen in almost every home, club or cultural ground. People wear colorful clothes and use decorative sticks to dance. Garba is another dance to which also requires traditional dresses. People participate in this dance form and celebrate. In Rajasthan too, both Rama and Devi Durga are celebrated and believed by the Rajput warriors. Thank you. Now enough of the information. Let's watch something entertaining. Sure, why not? Which is why the students of 6th standard will now perform a dance for us.
was a really beautiful dance and now let's ask Dakshesh to recite a stotra for us. Karacharana Krutam Va Kayajam Karamajam Va Shravana Nayanam Va Manasam Va Paradham Vihitam Vihitam Va Sarvametak Shamaswar Jai Jai Karunabhe Shri Mahadeva Shambhu